From this visit, I learned that for us to be able to look our children in the eye and say we're handing them a world that we're proud of, um, for that to happen, business as usual is not enough. Climate change isn't waiting on us, frankly. Um, we have an urgency. We have an emergency. It's business as usual that got us here in the first place. So I guess one of the most interesting things about our trip to the Netherlands was I think the assumptions we might have had coming from North America that the Dutch have it all figured out. It's basically been critical to their survival and figuring out how they live with water on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think a clear message that we heard is that the transformation and paradigm shift in their thinking really has only come in the past 15 years. They talked about water as being an essential for life safety, but this whole idea about water for resilience, that actually has only really happened for them in the past 15 years. You know, until now, I'd been thinking about it as a kind of an efficiency measure, a greening measure, felt good, sounded good. What uh, really struck me as a part of this trip is um, how important it is to uh, public health and well being. And that is. Uh, very clear in the way you experience their cities. When you walk down the street, when you go to a restaurant, when you visit somebody, you could see that their cities are being transformed by green infrastructure. So what really stood out uh, for me was like how the Dutch uh, really integrate uh, stormwater management with other functional landscapes and like how it is weaved into the urban fabric. Uh, for instance, we uh, looked at a project, um, the Water Square in Rotterdam, which really is a beautiful uh, project which showcases um, storing that uh, water when um, a heavy rainstorm comes in and then slowly filtering it and releasing the water back into the system when uh, the peak flow um, is uh, gone. Um, but like what stood out for me the most was like how it was integrated in the urban space and like how people were using the plaza um, when it's not raining. It, it really functioned as a public space where people could meet and um, hang out and enjoy uh, the city, but also it has that function of water uh, management. So one thing that I noticed that was different about the Dutch approach to green infrastructure was uh, the focus on biodiversity and bringing back um, the ecosystem service components of green infrastructure. Um, it moved green infrastructure beyond green veneer. There was an acute focus here on making sure that there was enough diversity in the kinds of plantings that were uh, taking place, that, that it was building enough structure for nature. What I love is how strategic it is, how strategic the system is. They're looking at making sure they're as efficient as they can with energy, as efficient as they can be with heat, that there's no waste, that there's closed systems. The way green infrastructure is incorporated into all of their city building, uh, that's something we need to take away, that's something we need to implement. For a strategy comes dialogue, and the more people, the more perspectives, the more implementers and users um, people who have a stake in the game are part of that dialogue to figure out what is it that we're doing, why are we doing it, and who are we doing it for. That's the, that's the magic that I saw happening here. You know, innovation is a must. In innovation, keeping equity and people in mind is not an option. I was really inspired by the collaborative approach that the Dutch people take. Each person that we talked to had a very clear water story and were able to talk in a very consistent way and how they managed to tell that story to their community. Finding that consensus around water and um, 
and finding those partnerships to work together is really something the Dutch uh, do uh, across sectors. They all need to be at the table when um, we discuss water and uh, water solutions. And so I really appreciated the fact that a lot of um, what these academics were working on were trying to solve real problems in partnership with the city, in partnership with community. And how cool is that, that you're not just doing research for research, research sake or to get a publication, but it's actually being applied to real problems. And so applying those principles and conveying them to our members or cities is something that is super, I think, applicable and relevant to how cities are really experiencing their challenges. I thought, okay, we can do this too. If Rotterdam and Amsterdam have been able to really alter their thinking and alter course to make climate adaptation, resilience planning a critical part of how they manage water in their cities, then we can do the same. The Dutch have embedded green infrastructure into the way they plan their cities in a very, very deep way. And they have brought awareness to their society and built partnerships so that uh, green infrastructure is the new normal.